Hi friends, myself Subrata Mukherjee and you are watching my channel Dr. Subrata Mukherjee Distance Learning in Commerce. Today I am going to discuss another problem on non-profit seeking concern. This is lecture number 7 and you can find the other lectures in the playlist section of the channel. I would like to request all the students to note the question with solution in your notebook and if you find any difficulty in understanding feel free to communicate with me through email and the contact number given in the description box. The following is the receipt and payment account of the Calcutta Football Club for the year end date 31st December 2021. So we have with us the receipt and payment account and the balance on 1st January 2021 for cash in hand was 2500 and that of cash at bank was 22300. Now during the year the following transactions took place. So there was a receipt of bank interest for rupees 500, entrance fees for rupees 5000, subscription 25000, barroom receipts 4000, sale of equipment 800, proceeds of nightclub 10800. And on the payment side we have the remuneration to coach for rupees 6000, ground man salary 2500, purchase of equipment 15500, Barroom expenses 2000, ground rent 4500, nightclub expenses 4800, printing stationery 2500, repairs to equipment 4500, cash at bank 25600, and cash in hand was rupees 3000. So, total of receipt and payment was 70,900. Now, the additional information. So the opening balance on 1st January 2021 and the closing balance is at 31st December 2021. Subscription due, that is the area subscription on 1st January 2021 was 1,500 and the area subscription on 31st December 2021 was rupees 1,000. So the outstanding printing and stationery bill on 1st January 2021 was 1000 and the closing outstanding printing stationery bill was rupees 800. The value of equipment on 1st January 2021 was for 8000 rupees and the value of equipment on 31st December 2021 was for rupees 17500. You are required to prepare an income and expenditure account for the year ended 31st December 2021 and the balance sheet as on that date. So let us start the solution of this problem. So we are preparing the ledgers in the accounts of Calcutta Football Club. So I am writing in the books of Calcutta Football Club. So balance it. as at 1st January 2021. So on liability side, then rupees, then assets, rupees. So in this set, I am preparing the structure of the opening and the closing balance set. And here I am writing the balance set as at 31st December 21. So we will have the liabilities, then rupees, assets, rupees. In the next page, I am preparing the income and expenditure account. Income and expenditure account for the year ended 31st December 21. On debit side, we write the items of expenditure, then rupees, and on credit side, we write the items of income and then the rupee column. Apart from preparing 
the opening and the closing balance sheet and income expenditure account. I have to open the subscription account. The balance outstanding of subscription is given. So I have to prepare the subscription ledger. I have to prepare the printing and stationery account printing and stationery account as the there was outstanding bill for printing and stationery opening and the closing balance and the equipment so i have to prepare the equipment ledger also so this way i have prepared the structure of the required ledger for this question so at first or in the first page, you can see the opening and the closing balance sheet that we have to prepare. I have prepared this opening balance sheet in order to find out the opening general fund. And in the next set, I have prepared the structure of income expenditure account and the three ledgers, the balance of which are given in the question. Now let us start posting the values as given in the question. So we have with us the receipt and payment ledger. I have discussed in my previous lectures that if any ledger has been prepared for us in the question, then we are going to post the figures as given in the ledger in only one place. And the additional information and the transactions in two places. For each debit entry, there has to be a credit entry. So you can see that the first item of receipt and payment account is the cash in hand, which is 2500 so we are going to post it in the opening balance sheet so in cash in hand is rupees 2500 and the cash at bank is for rupees 22300 next item is bank interest so bank interest we are going to post it in the income side so on the income side i am writing by bank interest and the amount is for rupees 500 next we have the entrance fee the entrance fees there is no additional information regarding entrance fee so we have to capitalize the value of entrance fee so entrance fee will be recorded on the liability side in the closing balance sheet. So I am writing here as entrance fees for rupees 5000. Next we have subscription. Subscription. This is the amount that you have received during the year 2021. So I have prepared a ledger of subscription. Your journal entries cash account debit to subscription. So in the subscription ledger I have to write by cash oblique bank account rupees 25,000 so next is bar room receipt for rupees 4,000 so in income expenditure account I have to write bar room receipt rupees 4,000 next is sale of equipment your general entry is cash account debit to equipment. So in equipment ledger, I'm going to post as buy, buy cash oblique bank account for rupees 800. And the last item of the receipt payment account is the proceed of nightclub 10,800. So in the income expenditure account, I will write by proceeds of nightclub rupees 10,800. So this way I have posted all the figures which are given on the receipt side of the receipt and payment account. Now come to the payment side. Remuneration to coach for rupees 6,000. So in the expenditure account I am going to write to remuneration to coach rupees 6000 next 
is the groundsman's salary for rupees 2500. So I will write to groundsman's salary rupees 2500. Next is purchase of equipment that is equipment account debit to cash. So in equipment ledger I am going to post this figure as to cash. So the balance of opening and the closing value of equipment is given. So and these are the debit balance. So in the next line I am going to write equipment account debit to cash for rupees 15,500. Next is barroom expenses 2000. So here I am going to post in the income expenditure account to barroom expenses. Rupees 2000. Next is ground rent. So on the expenditure side you have to write ground rent. Rupees 4000. 500. Next is nightclub expense 4800. To nightclub expense 4800. Next is printing stationery. So this is the amount of printing stationery which was paid. So in the printing stationery account, I have to write printing stationery account debit to cash account and the amount is for 2500. Next item is for repair to equipment. Repair to equipment is a revenue expenditure. So I have to write repair to ex equipment. And the amount is for rupees 4500. Next item is cash at bank. So this is the closing balance of cash at bank 25,600. So in the closing balance sheet I have to write cash at bank 25,600 and cash in hand the balance is rupees 3000. So I am going to write 3000 and the closing balance sheet for cash in hand. Now you can see that all the figures which are given in the receipt and payment account I have posted in only one place as these are the debit items. So I have to post it on the credit side of the ledgers and these are the credit items. So I have posted on the debit side. Now come to the additional information. So the app subscription due, the opening balance is 1500 and closing balance is 1000. So the opening balance of subscription is 1500 and the closing balance is for rupees 1000. So in subscription ledger, I have to write two balance BD 1500 and the closing balance I have written as buy balance CD rupees 1000. And this figure will be shown in the opening and the closing balance sheet also. So outstanding subscription in the opening balance sheet was for rupees 1500 and the outstanding subscription in the closing balance sheet was rupees 1000. Then the outstanding printing and stationery bill for rupees 1800. So the 1000, so outstanding printing and stationery. In the opening balance sheet, I have to write outstanding printing and stationery for rupees 1000. And the closing balance sheet, I have to write outstanding printing and stationery for rupees 800. And in the ledger of printing stationery, I have to write the opening balance as buy balance. BD 1000. This is the outstanding printing and subscription bill and the closing amount I have to write it here on the debit side as two balance CD rupees 800.
1800 i have posted in two places in the opening balance sheet this is i have posted in the opening balance sheet this figure i have posted in closing balance sheet next is the value of equipment the opening balance is 8000 and the closing balance is 17500 so the in the equipment ledger i am writing two balance bd 8000 and the closing balance as buy balance cd 17500 8000 and 17500 and in the opening balance sheet i have to write equipment in the opening balance sheet i am writing balance as 8000 and in the closing balance sheet I am writing the balance of equipment as 17,500. So this way I have posted all the values which are given in the question. Now it's time to close the ledgers. So first of all I am going to find out what is the opening general fund. So this is the balancing figure of the opening balance sheet. So you will get a total of 34,300 total of assets and the balancing figure is 33,300. So the opening general fund, we are going to place this figure in the closing balance sheet as opening general fund. In the inner column you write 33,300. Now the next ledger that we are going to close is the subscription account so you will get a close total of 26,000 on the credit side and the amount of subscription which was due during the year that will be posted in the income and expenditure ledger this is the balancing figure 24,500 now in, in the income expenditure account I am writing by subscription 24,500 from printing stationery the balancing figure is the amount of printing stationery expense incurred during the year so the balancing figure is 4 rupees 2300 3300 is the total of the debit side and the balancing figure on the credit side is rupees 2300 and the amount will be posted in the income expenditure account as two printing stationery so two printing and stationery i have to write 2300 and the balance in the equipment ledger is the amount of depreciation because there was a purchase for rupees 15,500 and there was a sale of equipment for rupees 800. Now this amount can be taken as a loss on the sale of equipment because the book value is not given. You can see in the question there was a sale of equipment for rupees 800 but book value was not given. So you can treat it as a loss on the sale of equipment or it can be the amount of depreciation. So whatever may be the amount we are going to post this figure in the income and expenditure account. This is this may be the loss on equipment on the sale of equipment or it can be the depreciation amount. So 23,500 is the total of debit side in the equipment ledger and the balancing figure is for rupees 5,200. So in income expenditure account you have to write either as to loss on sale of equipment or depreciation on equipment as it is clearly not written and the amount is for rupees 5200 now it's time to close the income and expenditure account so you'll get a total of 39800 on the credit side and the balancing figure is the amount of surplus so here i can write surplus that is excess of income over expenditure is for rupees 
8,000. And the surplus will be added with the opening general fund. So opening general fund is 33,300. I have to write here, add surplus, rupees 8,000. And the total is 41,300. And total of the liability side is 47,100. And the total of the asset side is 47,100. So this way, I have completed the solution and I hope all the students have recorded the question with solution and have tried to follow the process that I have adopted here. I have repeatedly said that whenever a ledger is given to you in a question, you have to post the figures of the ledger in only one place because every debit entry has a corresponding credit entry and the figures in the additional information will be posted in two places, in debit as well as on the credit side. If you find any difficulty in understanding, feel free to communicate with me through email and the contact number given in the description box. Thank you. Thanks for watching the lecture. 